all right game four here and on this board we have uh the first thing i looked at was fool's gold and whether our strategy involving that would be any good but i saw pirate chipper as well and that can put a big dent in a fool's gold plan and there's a little bit of help for the engine here in terms of building it through stonemason you can build quickly and have control over piles with that so you can get something going with pirate ship to kill a fool's goal strategy so because of that i thought well i should probably build an engine something that uses jesters and rogues maybe relic maybe but with menagerie there re relic doesn't really hurt as badly so my thoughts going in was okay if i want to build the engine menagerie is going to be important for draw and all these coppers and estates are not good for the menagerie so i am going to try to thin a little bit opening island here to set aside an estate and bonfire to get rid of a couple coppers so I, I only need to set aside two estates with the island for menagerie to work because it only cares about uniques uh, my opponent goes for the ironmonger opening along with a silver so here thank god for save because then this island would have been absolutely useless and i could go for bonfire here to keep trashing but i want to buy a silver now don't want to trash too much money out of my deck i want to be able to get to five to get to jester up uh, seven to get two jesters is also good so here now my opponent picks up bonfire for the first time and I'm able to set one of my estates away with the island. This hand I could buy a soul stone mason or one fool's gold. Uh, just the one fool's gold because, well, it's a unique, right? I mean, I really doesn't care about just the one. I also thought about maybe getting uh, just two fool's gold so that I would be able to buy Jester. That'll give me $5 that way. And maybe I could trash it with bonfire at some point i'm not sure but that's just an idea that crossed my mind at some point instead i just opt to save the copper for the next hand hoping to get the big stonemason overpay as my opponent comes up here i presume this is why they opened with the ironmonger and the silver to get a nice big hand or lots of money in one hand so they can overpay here by four I thought would have been two ironmongers but now shows intent to thin a little bit with the ironmonger and the island so that's a thing to take note of stonemason can get uh, two islands via overpay and it is exactly what i'm going to do here overpay by four and pick up one ironmonger and the one island so i have enough islands here to make menageries sing so glad for that now the next item on my agenda is a bit more ironmongers some menageries and jesters jester is going to be good here because my opponent is thinning and i will get nice things off of them presumably hopefully anyway i've recently grown fond of jester because i played this one game and my opponent opened with a jester and i you know completely disregarded just as i used to do telling myself it's not a good card but then i saw just put in some work so ever since then i guess i've been fond of the card or i just don't want to miss out on all the just goodness anyway my opponent gets to set aside an estate with an island here saves a copper so not the most exciting turn in the world obviously getting rid of this estate to try to draw more money to buy things but instead i find a stonemason and obviously gonna play the island over the stonemason here no reason to play that stonemason i want all the money i can find right now so options are to save here again and buy some two cost or to pick up another three cost i don't want the silver obviously bearing in mind the menagerie style deck i could buy a bonfire and it is what I end up doing here to get rid of a couple coppers. Just making sure that I still have enough money in the back to get to five for the jester. Because once I buy that jester, I should be okay for money. I'll have the silver, I'll have the jester. And I will 
presumably keep a copper around. So that's at least five money in my deck. Iron Monger can give me money. You should be okay for money once I get the Jester. And I do get the Jester here. As my opponent overpays Stone Mason into uh, the same Iron Monger Island combination there. So they are trying to trash as well. But they didn't open trashing as I did. They opened uh, Iron Monger Silver to build a bit and then trash after. I mean, you can make up your own mind about which way is better here. Saving just the one card, well, you can only save one card, and passing it over to me here after setting aside with the island. So, I'm going to get rid of this estate, and it draws me into the silver, and this jester, I start to get in on the jester fun, right? I copy an iron manga, and very quickly take that. So here I have some choice, right? I can stone mason over up into two fives, like two jesters, or just a rogue. I can't get the relic, unfortunately, but like I said, I don't really think that's too much of a factor here. Or I can stone mason over up into two fours, which would be two iron mongers at this point. I don't really have a reason to pick up an island. So initially I thought, okay, the two fives are going to be good, right? I just picked up an iron monger, maybe I could support the two fives. But then, while I was going through the stonemason procedure, I um, changed my mind and decided to go for two iron mongers. So that's bad. I probably, I could have saved this iron monger, uh, not iron monger, this stonemason and removed it from my hand for the next shuffle. If I had made up my mind properly from before, but I changed my mind because I didn't think I had enough terminal space to play all the jesters. The deck is thin, the ironmongers may not show me actions, and I could draw like three jesters in one hand, a stone mason, and a copper, and then cry. So the ironmonger is just a safer play, which is why I went for it. So here, five for my opponent. They can stone mason over pay into two menageries, but is going to pick up the jester at this point. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to discard this silver here because I want to get to my iron mongers and jesters and probably can get back to that silver with the amount of iron mongers in my deck. Unfortunately, nope, I do not. So I'm going to play this just a copy another iron mongers. Best kind of everything tastes better when it's free, right? Just like the free iron mongers. So Jester is doing great work here. I'm going to thin one copper here with the stone mason. Probably not going to buy Bonfire for the rest of the game here. Going to rely on the Stone Mason to keep my deck um, bereft of coppers so that the Menageries can have a nice time. And this is what I'm considering here. If, the, if it is worth it for the Menagerie here, and I think it is, I just have what maybe these are the last two coppers in my deck. I believe they are. I trashed twice with Bonfire and once just now. So these are the last two coppers in my deck. Uh, actually, Stone Mason is now more plentiful than Menage than Copper in my deck, so that's something I have to keep note of. And I only realized that like midway through a turn when I was trying to activate Menagerie and realized, wait, I have two Stone Masons here. This is not going to work. I should fix this. So I didn't consider that, but I was able to sort that out during the course of the game. Not a big deal. So on this turn here, you're going to see me do something weird. Which is play the Iron Monger first. I don't know why I tried to play the Iron Monger first, but it draws me into another Stone Mason, and I am punished for my foolishness. I should have gone. Oh, I know the reason why now, I just remembered. I wanted the Iron Monger to reveal something and give me some benefit. So, like, maybe get plus action somewhere or plus money. If I drew with the Menagerie, maybe all the Iron Mongers would not have given me some benefit out of it. So that's why I play the Iron Monger first there. I didn't want to end up overdrawing and have the Iron Mongers be dead. But instead I end up underdrawing and not doing very much with this thing, just coming up with 40. Jester does um give me an Iron Monger though which I'm happy about. And here I could buy another menagerie but I choose to pick up the last Iron Monger here. Not really sure which is correct there because I, I just underdrew my deck so I probably won't draw. So maybe I should have gone with the Menagerie and saved something and bought the Menagerie that way. But I don't know, I just picked up the Iron Monger. And it, it seems to be, it, it, is, it is helpful here because my opponent can't copy one. 
Uh, in the meantime, they have a potion, a uh, Cindy potion for the golem. I was a little bit skeptical of the golem because it's a bit late into the game right now with stonemason around, but uh, they managed to pick up two golems here. So we'll see uh, what comes of these golems. And really, for this whole game, I was, from the time I saw that potion by, I was just hoping just to hit golem, just to hit golem, just to hit golem, because that's, that's the easiest way to buy potion cost cards. Just have just a copy them. Anyways, that is, you know, a long shot. I put what, two cards in like 15 or 20. So roughly 10 or 20% chance ish at best. Anyways, so this just that doesn't do much for me, just copying a copper. I mean, Junk and my opponent isn't that big of a deal. They don't have menageries as I do here. So here I am just going to stop the turn and not trigger this reshuffle because there's not a lot to go back for there. I think this is all the money I have in my deck. So knowing that this is all the money that I have in my deck, I think I'm going to buy a Jester here over a couple Menageries. So this is a second Jester for me. So my opponent's one. And right now the Rogue is not so hot at all because it means I'll have to first gain that um, potion. Oh, actually I don't think my opponent has trashed the potion yet. But they will trash the potion soon, so buying the Rogue isn't attractive. Yes, I just checked the trash, there's nothing there. But now there's something there. A little bit ahead of myself there. And they pick up a couple menageries of that potion. So that's a nice um, nice turn for them actually. They have the two golems and now a couple menageries. So set for draw here. So at this point in the game I spent quite a bit of time thinking about the end of the game actually. Because I have three stonemasons. Um, I believe my opponent... Um, only has two because they trashed one of their stonemasons. Or will trash them soon anyway. But I have three stonemasons and I have enough actions to play them. So I'm thinking about ways to end the game at this point. Islands are halfway done and the stonemason pile is low. I think there's only four of those left. I no, I'm not certain. But anyways. I, this is similar to my last match with Stonemason where there's a lot of action so you can support all your Stonemasons. So you want to look for a win from very early on in the game. So these Jesters don't really do much turning up an Ironmonger and a Copper. Not gaining me anything at all. So not much to do here. Just going to save. I choose to save the Menagerie. That could be a bit scary. Maybe the Ironmonger is better. I'm not certain. So here I have to check to see whether my opponent can end, can, whether they can end the game. But I can't, I couldn't end it so I don't think they can end it. They don't have as many ironmongers which means they don't have as many actions as me. And I believe they have one less stonemason. So you need what, 8 gains, maybe 9 gains to end the game here and I don't think they can do that. Uh, the just their Jester gives me a silver, which I, I don't like at all. You know, the unique thing with the Menagerie is not happy about it, not happy about it. Saving the Menagerie here was decent because I get it on a hand with uh, unique things. So I can trigger this and get going. Buy a gold last turn. The reason for the gold is, well, is money and it's a unique and it is good target for Stonemason. I can get a duchy through that gold. Anyway, my opponent now picks up a province, probably sensing that the end of the game is near, and with just the one buy, and probably don't want to buy anything with the stonemason, so what else is there to buy, really? So first Jester, right? This is the first Jester. Because if I'm going to win this game, Jester needs to, you know, copy nice things. So first Jester just gives my opponent a curse, which isn't great. Right? isn't great at all. So now I have two stonemasons in my hand and I have to resolve this issue for my menagerie to draw so I can trash maybe the jester, maybe the ironmonger to get a couple of menageries that way. But I decided to keep going for a while here, just playing another ironmonger. Well, I play the jester first, then I'm going to play the ironmonger. So I pick up another jester from my opponent, so I am happy about that. This Ironmonger reveals another Ironmonger, uh, so I can play this Ironmonger, keep going, so this um, allows me to discard 
the estate and draws me into a cop house. So now I have a nice target for my stonemason, though I'm not entirely sure I want to use it yet because end of the game, right? So I go to look for the jester and the jester copies the golem. I'm thrilled about that. Thrilled about it. So now here I spend quite a bit of time thinking about how to end the game. If you want, you could pause the video and look for a solution. Maybe it is different to mine. But mine was to stonemason the silver into two more stonemasons. Then draw with the menagerie. I would either find golem or uh, two stonemasons that way. Then I can play two more stonemasons. One on the golem to get two islands and one on the goal to get the last two islands and then overpay for the last stonemason. So that's the game. Thanks for watching.